This is WENY News. Hello and thanks so much for clicking on the webcast. I'm Ross DiMatte. Here's the latest now from WENY News and the Star Gazette. It appears the long-awaited and highly anticipated Elmira Comprehensive Master Plan may be finally here. The steering committee has released a draft of the master plan on its website, planelmira.com. It shapes the future for the city of Elmira over the course of 121 pages. And on Wednesday night, the design team and steering committee will host a community open house from 6 to 8 p.m. And that's when they will officially present the draft of the master plan at Community Arts of Elmira, located at 413 Lake Street. It will soon be easier and cheaper than ever for women to get screened for breast cancer here in New York State. New legislation requires 210 hospitals all across the state to stay open at least four hours longer each week for women who can't get mammograms between the normal hours of 9 and 5. It will also eliminate annual deductibles and co-payments for all screening mammograms. And the new law will eliminate cost sharing for diagnostic imaging for breast cancer, including mammograms, breast ultrasounds, and breast MRIs for women at high risk for breast cancer. And one local elementary school celebrated their 50th anniversary on Saturday. Gardner Road Elementary in Horseheads first opened on September 7th, 1966. Their original mascot was the Golden Eagles, but now it's the Golden Stars. And at the celebration on Saturday, tours were given to alumni students by current students. Quilts, old photos, and even yearbooks were on display for alumni old and new to check out. A chandelier was made by current students to commemorate the anniversary and was hanging in the atrium for all to see. Gardner Road Elementary is the school these students love to attend. Gardner Road is a wonderful school and we are happy to be here. Yeah. And we are happy for new students to come here. Mm -hmm. I have done some other positions, filled in some other places, uh, and I think what makes this place great is, is the kids. It is just a, a, a great place to work, a great place to teach. Um, I have fun every day. And Gardner Road Elementary is looking forward to another 50 years of education. Congrats to all the kids, students, and staff over at Gardner Elementary, and congrats to Cla Craig Flint, who nailed the forecast this week. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. Wow. You had to go there. <laughs> Greg, I have a feeling you have a, an apology coming. Not in this show. Oh, I'm sorry. He already apologized. And, but anyway, we're thankful that you were more cautious. Thank you, Craig. Well, look, I mean, going back to last week, let's, let's talk about Saturday because, yeah, I was wrong. All right. Um, but going back to, to last week, I, I remember saying it's not a slam dunk forecast. Well, I'm not making an excuse. I'm not perfect. But the difference between me and some of the other guys in town I'll tell you why I was wrong, okay? We had a batch of showers of thunder that came through in the morning, and a lot of times when that happens, it, it robs the atmosphere of energy, okay? Also, the cold front, which I was thinking was going to come through in the afternoon, didn't. It stayed to the north and west. So that cold front helps to get the air up and moving, that rising motion. That's what you need. If you don't have, like, a trigger or some kind of forcing, you're not going to get any thunderstorms. And that's exactly what happened on Saturday. So I was wrong. I apologize. I'll learn from it and try harder next time. Okay? Love you anyway, buddy. All right, so here we go. 71 today. What I can tell you, there will be a breeze. If it is not windy, Ross DiMatteo will buy a new flat screen TV. <laughs> Uh, Northwesterly, 10 to 25 and a high of 71. Overnight tonight, still a bit breezy. 45, the low. So your forecast then for the northern tier, skies will become partly sunny and uh, still breezy. We still can't shake the wind today. High of about 71, 72 for Elmira. Skies becoming partly sunny and over the Finger Lakes as well. Uh, a partly sunny sky, but oh, he, left, he left me hanging. Still breezy. So the storm <laughs> is right about there. You see that twist right there? So we still have uh, the flow around that storm that will provide us with that northwesterly wind. And you're looking to the west, you're going, okay, here comes some more showers and thunderstorms. They're, ne they're never gonna get here. They're, they're gonna peter out. As an area of high pressure rolls in here, uh, and that's going to provide us with, I think, a, a decent day today, despite the wind. Tuesday should be less windy. And Wednesday, we're going to start to warm up. But what's going to happen is, as we head into Thursday, we have some wet weather. 
And then we go into the weekend, which of course is a big weekend for Dad's Day. All right, Laurel Fest starting this week. That high pressure I was just talking about reasserts itself and will provide us with some awesome weather this weekend. So there's your seven day in a nutshell. Other than Thursday and maybe a leftover shower Friday morning, dry skies, sun, and temperatures warming up. Still going to be breezy though today, Ross. All right, thanks so much, Craig. And for the latest news, weather, and sports, you can be sure to watch WENY News at noon, 536 and 11. And don't forget to pick up a copy of today's Star Gazette. I'm Ross Nivate. Enjoy your Monday.